إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد The fourth fear, secret supernatural fear, khawf al-sir. Fear from other than Allah, that which only Allah could do. Like someone fearing someone, khawf al-sir means fearing someone will harm you in a way only Allah can do. For example, a supposed saint in the grave harming someone alive. This is the type of fear that the grave worshippers have. And of course, it's shirk akbar. It's like the fe people of Hud had. The fear that the people ha had in their idols. Uh, they told Hud, They said, the people of Hud told him, We fear, we think that our gods, which is their false deities, seized you with an evil madness. They put their curse on you. What did Hud respond to him? I call on Allah. Allah is my witness that I am free from that which you ascribe as partners in worship to Allah. He considered that shirk. He considered what they said as shirk. They said their Lord touched Hud with a madness. Meaning, you said something bad about our, our Lord, so they put a curse on you. They made you a crazy man. That's the fear they had from their false deities. When he responded back, he said, Mimma tushrikun. What you just said is shirk. That type of fear is shirk. Fear of a person in a grave or a wali far away can harm the way Allah can harm. That's called the secret fear. And this is a shirk al akbar. This category of shirk is shirk al akbar. That's major shirk. Regardless of whether he fears one dead or alive. If they are dead, it's shirk to fear the dead. Even if it's something that was under their control and power when they were alive. It's shirk because now they are dead. If I fear someone punching me, that's natural fear. But if I fear a dead person is going to punch me, he could have done that when he was alive. But now he's dead, it's shirk akbar. I can fear someone in front of me stabbing me. That's natural fear. We spoke about that in the first category. This fourth category, if I fear that fear in a person who's dead, it becomes shirk akbar. Fear someone can make me ill without means is shirk akbar. Fear of someone depriving me of having kids is shirk akbar. These are matters only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do. Fear of inanimate objects like a blessed tree or like uh, metal that's around the Prophet's grave or something like that. Fear of that, that's shirk akbar. A particular story comes to mind that a sheikh mentioned. Uh, he said they were visiting Egypt in da'wah on a da'wah trip one time. And in portions there, the ignorant take uh, Badawi as a saint and they fear him the way they fear Allah. Many people do throughout the world, not just in Egypt. But he was visiting Egypt with a colleague. Some even fear him more than they fear Allah in statements that they say. The Sheikh said we were in the back seat of a cab, taxi cab, and a young boy came and asked my colleague for money, a beggar. The Sheikh gave him a little bit of Egyptian money the young boy got greedy or didn't think that was enough. So he said, I ask you by Bedawi to give me more. Note, he said, I ask you by Bedawi. Bedawi is the saint. He didn't say, I ask you by Allah to give me more. And it's known in some areas that they take Bedawi uh, similar to Allah, give him qualities to Allah. And if you're asked by Bedawi, it's known you have to answer. That's how you avoid the curse of the Bedawi on you. The Sheikh said, give me back the money I gave you. The Sheikh said, because you gave an oath by Bedawi, 
You don't get nothing. You need to learn a lesson never to give an oath or ask by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then they drove away. The cab driver said, Yustur, 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 save us, save us. The Sheikh said, what are you talking about? He said, uh, he's asking, he's asking Bedawi to save them. Uh, he said, you cursed or disrespected Bedawi, look what's going to happen to us now. And the driver became afraid of Bedawi because he deemed that the Sheikh disrespected him when he took the money and wouldn't give the young boy. When they reached their destiny safely, the Sheikh said, look, this is a true story. He said, look, we reached safely. Nothing happened, alhamdulillah. Instead of the cab driver realizing that's fake, what he was doing in that shirk, he said, al bedawi has been patient with us. Shirk after shirk. Bedawi is dead in his grave. He cannot harm or help. This is the khawf as sir this is the Shirk Akbar. This is was mentioned in the verse. وَكَيْفَ أَخَافُ مَا أَشْرَكْتُمْ وَلَا تَخَافُونَ أَنَّكُمْ أَشْرَكْتُمْ بِاللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يُنَزِّلْ بِهِ عَلَيْكُمْ سُلْطَانًا فَأَيُّ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ يَحَقُّ بِالْأَمْنِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ How should I fear those whom you associate in worship to Allah? They can neither benefit nor harm. They can neither benefit nor harm. That was the statement of Ibrahim alayhi salam. It's important to know these categories, these four categories of fear, the main ones that I mentioned, because some declare someone a mushrik if they have the natural fear. You've seen that a lot. And this should clear up that matter.